Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the Smith and Black Channel here, Ticker Talker, and the shenanigans continue to ensue. And so, when we come in this morning, it's a GameStop. Uh, he said broke over, over our nights and uh, in the morning over 500 and then back down. Uh, a lot of shops having systems problems and then uh, Robin Hood to restrict and, and restrictions on certain stocks. So, a dangerous environment out there today for sure. And also hearing that the SEC is cracking down on some Robin Hooders ch can see, check out some market manipulation. So, that said, you want to be real careful in this environment of what's going on. So, if we go to uh, the SPY here, the broadening formation here on the daily, upper left, right? Yesterday, the 2 2 reversal, back through the try she goes, make the slight lower low to the tick. Now, 2 2 reversal on the daily on the SPY coming back up, right? And so you can see this here, yesterday's lower left. Yesterday's fall from grace, and then boom, 2 2 reversal to start the day, back through the previous range. These two. These four bars are an outside bar of that. Do we know that that exists? We certainly do. So, still an outside week with a day to go here, and finishing off uh, finishing off the month trying to go back towards the highs. Not seeing exactly what's doing it, but if we go to QQQ, and QQQ, still an inside day, but coming back up. So, we'll see there. Looking a lot similar, like diamonds. And Dow Jones diamonds, here you can see this. Take out the lows, and then 2-2 reversal here on the upper left. When it takes this out, you're good to go, and off she goes. Back through the try she goes. However, if you look at the Dow Jones weeklies, look at this. <laughs> try doji. <coughs> Doing nothing. But uh, we had overnight, usually, we'd be like, ooh, ooh, Apple Teslers. And Apple, on the earnings, goes down a little bit and then comes back up, still doing nothing on the week. Uh, you did have this on the 60, if you go to the lower left. A slight poke down the one bar rev strat outside bar as soon as this turns green and the way you would have triggered that is the 30 you see this the inside bar poke down hammer rev strat one two down two up boom and you're into the apple tesla here just kind of stuck and uh, you can see this range here so it has, when you have a really tight range like this more often than not, you do this and go outside and take out both sides. You know why? Because it's gonna be, it enables people to have tight stops on both sides. Like, I will play the breakout, oh, will you? And then you get stopped out, and then I'm going to buy to get support. And stopped out, and then right back into the middle and doing nothing. So not much, much to see here. So let's go to a GameStop. Because a lot of this is a bunch of Reddit shenanigans, right? We know that. So they run some, then they, they run sheep run and let them dump, right? And so um, that's basically what we've been watching here so you got GameStop look at this look at this range <laughs> this is your daily and now here almost unchanged for the opening from the opening so you can see here on the opening on the six if you just looked at the 60 you're gonna see this it opens after a pre-market of over 500 then it opens down into here but then when it comes back up into here now it's gonna be an outside bar of this Right, as soon as it took that out, it was. Right, and then this is the outside bar, 3 2 to the downside here. And now an inside 60, and it may well just rot away in here after uh, all the shenanigans and uh, you know, people getting shut down and uh, all the halts and whatnot. AMC also on that restrictive list. AMC, you just see the big movements in here. And so on the 60, we call this the Momo Shooter goes up comes down and then bam into the lows and then as soon as it exhausts you can see that new hour that's when you'd want to know about something like this so if you go to the 30 you'll see this so if you wanted to be the bottom picker there's your inside 30 two down by taking out the low inside bar back up uh, if we go to um, well Microsoft kind of leading the charge here and the in, partially in the Nasdaq inside month in the middle inside month to the upside and also an inside quarter. These three were inside of here and then back into the high. So Microsoft's still working. Um, another thing that you can look at when it's, if GameStop's too hairy for you, which for most it is, is it's, it's effect that it's having on XRT, right? So XRT, which normally wouldn't trade around like this, is, all right? And so you might want to consider watching the XRT. You might have a 30 rev strat if they want to take that down. We'll see. Um, watching the Reddit tape, GBR was one they, they were on here. We'll see if that goes up. Now it's coming inside back down on the 30. We've got Riot Blockchain. 
in right blockchain coming up getting towards the end of the week and back into the range but here's the reversals that we're looking for on dailies because we're seeing a lot of good volatility where you can just trade off the dailies here the two down in the upper left two back through previous range these become an outside bar of this right and that right two down two up not too hard now looking like it can set up for an inside 30 coming forward LLIT shenanigan we'll see if there's anything more to this just like to see these things that have these big ranges. You can see if we can get an inside 60 out of that going forward. Uh, KLDO. And KLDO having a nice day here too. And the outside day to the upside. Taking that off. All right, not bad. We'll see if that sets up again. Anything on the 30s here? There was your inside 30. Right here. There you go. See if that does that again. All right. So the future's still st skirting the highs here. If we go to um, uh, Honeywell. Honeywell in general hasn't been doing much. You can see this on this weekly, not doing much. But like I said, if you just look for the reversals, people are like, I'm a, it's a bounce play. It's not a bounce play. It's a reversal. Two down, two up, back to previous range. There you go, Honeywell. If you go to UNH and UNH, also, just a 2-2 two -two back up right here with the Dow Jones. And so that tells you you can look at like Cigna here, two down. These didn't gap. That's good. In general, doing nothing on the weeklies. And that's why we're just taking trades pretty much in this environment, getting ready for the new month. I think Centene in there, 2-2. Two -two, so you get a, maybe XLV. XLV, you can see that went out on the lows. And then 2-2 two -two reversal here just had some distance to take that out. Also seeing Cat Tractor. And cat tractor coming back up here, 2-2, two, two, reversal, 2 down, 2 up, right? And that tells us we can also look at John Deere, 2 down, boom. So the good thing is about when they close them on the lows, and then you come back through, everybody got blown out yesterday, right? And if you're short, you can stay short. But then once it starts coming through here, everybody who shorted yesterday is underwater right here. That's why that works. Okay, if we go to um, another smokestacker like Parker Hannafin also doing it, PH, down big bright red and then two two reversal it's what you can expect in these tight ranges here to come back and forth you can see this monthly a big outside month after the tight range right that's what i'm saying the tight range more often than not you're going to get those uh, outside bars uh, if we go to abbott labs and abbott labs um just taking off here and here's one of the things we look for in the monthly this has been my monthly newsletter here the shooter the hammer two up two down boom these become an outside bar of all that now it just kind of stalls out up in here uh near the highs and we'll see what comes of that uh if we go to useg and useg a little shenanigan are jumping around we'll see if that goes inside 60. Uh, if we go to sgry sgry having a nice little day that was a three two day and we'll see if that sets up a lot of these things blasting and then just sitting here so we'll see what comes of that s p spy and the queue still skirting near the highs right now but uh, stalling out just a tad if we go to mara one more m-a-r-a -A. and mara just coming back through here so we'll see if that sets up on an inside 30 still an inside week so we'd be aware of that on the downside uh we got a lot of them jumping shippers <laughs> dds and you can see this here dds was it two up, but comes all the way back in. So we're looking for this 2-2 two, two reversal below here. Two up, two down, to become an outside bar of this, which it did. So the question is, is it going to be weak enough to take any more out of it? We'll see. All right here, we'll see if we can get that 60 as a two up. We'll see in the next hour. If you can take the lows of this 60 out, that would get my attention. If we go to BB. Ow! Right? Jump and ship. Right? All these guys are pumping her here. Jump and ship. Inside day. Up. One two two reversal below here, 1981, and so we'll see if that sets up again right now. It goes inside on the 60, so we'll see inside 60 if you get another one. But right now you can see this is starting to drop back down right off the 60. How's the 30 looking? Okay, starting to jump, come back in. We'll see uh, if we go to fossil. And Fossil's still an inside day, but you can see how they jump ship after running this baby to 28. And so this is, gets our attention. Here's the inside 30. Inside 30 to the downside. Uh, if we go to KOSS. 
and they is jumping shit. <laughs> you can see the jumping shit. Problem here is a lot of these things halting, and uh, GameStop's halted again. So, like I said, this is a, somewhat of a dangerous environment. But uh, with the market rallying back, there's some of the old boring stocks like that I just showed you that are still kind of working. If you go to VIR, and VIR, here's what we look for in the daily. The two-in-one direction. Boom, here was your reversal right here below 70.28 trading 57.50 not bad get nice nice 60s in here for you there you go start the day right here right there finished off as an inside 60 you can take this boom you're gonna stop out all these guys in one shot and then hopefully they've completely jumped ship on this thing and it backs off now you got an inside 60 pokes up a little bit we'll see if we get another signal off of that uh bloodbath and beyond and bloodbath boy jump and ship boy <laughs> run it run it boom two two reversal right here and the good thing was it traded up and then traded down so you had the, more than enough time to go after this right here below 41 11. now we'll see if we set up anything here how's the 30s looking here's what you look for all right so it did open here then it goes up here right tries to go two two reversal back up but when it fails and then goes here this is a two down, that's a two up, and bam, then these become the outside bar of that. And hopefully you get more of it right now, trying to take an inside 30 down to give us a little bit more. If we go to Whirlpool, and Whirlpool, once again, there you go, inside day, right? Inside day and up, into exhaustion risk. Boom, rev strat right here, 2-2 two, two reversal after a 1. Stop them out here, here, here. And now going after here. And you can see on the weekly, right, it did it down here. And this is how broadening formations form, right? You got guys who think this is support, get stopped out, and then goes blasting off into the highs. Now they think it's all clear blue skies. Let's take a look at this daily. Now, triangle needed to grow, and it did. And so it looks like this on the weekly. Higher highs and lower lows. There's your weekly broadening formation of Whirlpool, looking to see if we can get this outside week and take these guys out. All right. So if we go to um, Revlon, jump in ship, folks. <laughs> Here we go. Shenaniganers, uh, two up on the daily, and then boom, there's your reversal right there. Like so. Uh, if we go to... Um, McDonald's and some coming back up a little bit here but pretty tight range on the weekly so not too much going on there but uh, you always want to be aware of those laggards because when you have the diamonds doing this and you're in the Dow Jones diamonds doing this and you're doing this that gets my attention doesn't mean it's gonna fall apart but it certainly could Microsoft going to the highs as I speak uh, if we go to um, PRTS And PRTS, another one of them, blaster, <laughs> Reddit blasters, like, yay! Inside day, 212 reversal below here. That's below 1678. Now it looks like you've got inside 60. All right, so we'll see if they can get this to go directional and keep going below this. 1505. All right, so we'll see if we can get down there. Uh, we've got NNOX. NNOX does that 2-2 here on the on the daily. You go two up, boom, right? And still want to see if we can get these guys out. But right now you're an inside 60, so we'll see if there's more of that. KLDO goes to the highs as I speak. So I said these futures are holding right near the highs. So the, you got some of that tailwind working on some of these things. Uh, if we go to BGS, another inside day up. Jump shipper now inside in the 60. We'll see if more comes of that. If we go to ATHM. Oh boy. <laughs> Yay. Boo. <laughs> so right, right back down. Uh, took that out. Now it just kind of firms up a little bit. So we'll see if that sets up again for you. So uh, just a couple more Clorox in the XLP jumping ship here. Inside. Up. Boom. Revstrat got a little more to take these guys out. We'll see if that sets up. There we go. The inside 30, 3, 1, 2, 
Boom. Sink tanks for playing. Um, let's see. And BBW. Just another example of these pump and dumper stuff to stay on. But certainly creating a bunch of volatility. Uh, a little bit uh, hairy on the GameStop today with all those um, halts. Like I said, you can look at XRT and uh, just buy the ones that are going up and sell the ones that go down and trade reversals. Uh, that's what I can do for today. I'm Rob Smith, the Smith and Black channel here at Ticket Talker with the Strat Time Report.